I guess uh, you are doing fine where you are. Please uh, keep it in your mind that Sichamba uh, Jako is with you, right here, trying to teach you on how to find the specialist business. So, um, quite a number of people have been uh, struggling on how to find the shortest distance. So in this video, I'm going to show you two ways on uh, how you can find the shortest distance. So the first thing would, would be to understand where is our A? Our A is right here, our B is here. And they want us to find the shortest distance from uh, this to this, okay? So what you normally do is to find uh, the point right here, which is the center, okay? And then you do this and that, okay? So this is the part which will help us see, find the shortest distance. So let me get that part. It will look like this. It will be a sector. So we have A here and B right here. So these are the two points, okay? Getting this. This is how it is. And the center is right here. So this is what you need to, to understand. So after that, you now find this angle, the angle which is right here. So what angle is this? So the angle right here will be to get the longitude which is here and this other longitude, you add them. So 55 plus 45, which will be 100 degrees. So this must be our first step. After finding the angle, you now check where is the shortest distance from this point to this. It's right here. So this is the shortest distance. If you're at point A, you want to go to point B, the shortest distance is right here. And in most cases, when they have asked you to find distance on this topic, distance between A and B, we calculate this distance by using the normal distance formula. But to find the shortest distance, this is the shortest distance we're talking about. So remember I said uh, we can use uh, two ways. So now the first way will be the formula way. So the formula will be like this. Distance is equal to, so write Q cos uh, alpha sine theta over Q. Okay. Okay. Actually, here there must be R. Like that. So this is the formula right here. Don't forget the R. So now here we have a 2 times R is a, a 600, uh, 6,370 kilometers. Remember, you are given the radius in the question, in the exam, you are given, and this is an approximation of the radius of the, the Earth. So here we say cos, what are we going to put here? It's a right here, 60 degrees times sine. Uh, 100 over 2. Okay, so this is theta, and theta must be right here. Okay, the theta must be here, the angle which is here, which is 100. So after that, you punch on your calculator. So we have uh, 2 times uh, 6,370 times uh, cos 60 times uh, times. Uh, Times sine, sine sine 100 and 100 divide by uh, by 2. So what answer are we getting? We are getting a 4,879, 4,879. Point seven zero three one zero three kilometers. So now, writing this in three significant figures, it will look like this. So this is our answer. 
Okay, so I've shown you one method. Now let's try to do another method. So the other method here to find the, the shortest distance will be to get this sector, of course, and find the angle. After finding the angle, you cut like this. This is a triangle, right angle triangle. This is 90 degrees. And the angle here will be, will be what? Will be 50 degrees. If this is 100 degrees, this will be 50 degrees. Okay? And then we need to use the sine. Okay? Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. We use Sokato. So opposite is x. The hypotenuse we have, this is the radius, radi radius right here. This is the radius. So the radius here, we know that when finding radius, normal radius is like this, which means R cos alpha. So this radius, the normal radius that we know, the one we use in restoration, when it comes to earth geometry, this is the, what it means. R cos alpha okay so now here we shall put sine 50 degrees which is this 50 the opposite there we don't know it's x and that's what we are looking for the hypotenuse is r cos what cos alpha this one the radius r cos alpha so there sine 50 is equal to x over the radius is uh, 600 i mean 6700 and uh, 6 6370 degrees the radius you're given times uh, cos 60 degrees this 60 here okay so you cross multiply x will be equal to sine 50 times uh, 6,370 times cos 60. Let's see the answer that we're getting. We're getting a 2, okay, 2,439.8 2, Okay, now this answer, you multiply it by 2 because it, we want to find the distance from here to B. Now we found it, the X, which is from here to here. Now we say times 2, so that we include this part. Okay? We have this X and this X. So this plus this is 2. So we multiply by 2, such that uh, we get the whole distance here. So the answer we have times 2, it's giving us uh, the answer that we, we found in our previous uh, method. This is the answer we we found right here kilometers so in two three in three significant figures it will be like this thank you thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe okay like the video and also follow me on my facebook page which is uh, jacob sochamba online mathematics bye bye